How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to talk about how to build credit when you don't have any credit at all. You see, it becomes a chicken and egg problem when you don't have any credit because no one will extend you any credit when you have bad credit. You can't get approved for a brand new loan nor an unsecured credit card so that you can build some credit history. Now this method I'm going to describe in this video is very good for people with a credit score of under 700. Actually, the lower, the better that this method will work. Now this video is sponsored by Self Lender and it got me thinking if I would actually make this video if they do not give me a referral fee. My thinking is this, although their service costs money and it's good for the customer and it does work. So if I'm not getting a referral fee from them, I'm essentially doing free advertisement for them and I'll feel sort of cheated because it costs me time and money in order to make these videos. So you have to realize without this referral fee, I probably will omit this particular service and recommend the remainder of the stuff that I recommend in this video. Now, before I show you what you need to do to improve your credit score, I want to show you why you want to improve your credit score first. Now, a higher credit score translates to a lower interest rate, for example, for car loans or mortgages. If you do not plan to use your credit score to get loans and stuff, then well, you don't really need to increase your credit score. However, most people do need to finance things, so therefore you need a higher credit score to get your interest rate as low as possible. Let me show you a dramatic example with a home mortgage. For example, for a $250,000 home mortgage, one person has pretty low credit and gets a 5% APR. Over the life of that loan, that person's gonna pay $483,000 back over 30 years. However, for a person with excellent credit, maybe they can qualify for 4.5% APR. Now, this is a very small difference because it's only 0.5%. However, by the time you pay back the full loan in 30 years, this person getting 4.5% is gonna pay back $456,000. Now, if you take the difference between these two, it's $27,000, $27,000 thousand dollars just over half a percent difference in interest rate now in order to prove i know what i'm talking about here is my credit score i've obtained a credit score as high as 848 before but i do not keep it around there because i've been churning credit cards taking advantage of my credit score in order to get more benefits back because of this it still hovers around 827 or so now there are three main ways to build your credit if you do not have any credit to begin with all these things i show here is basically pretty separate you can do all of them if you want your credit score to increase that much faster the first one is getting a secured credit card which means you have to pay money into it for whatever credit line you get most of the time it's around five hundred dollars you have to put five hundred dollars cash in with the bank and then you can have a credit line of five hundred dollars if your credit card is really really bad then you end up having to pay an annual fee which means it costs you money the second way to do it is walk into a credit union if you're part of a credit union you can just use that one instead you go and ask them if they have a credit builder loan that kind of loan is basically a real loan. You get the money, maybe it's a small amount, and then you're paying monthly payments back into it. This is to generate a history in your credit report. The disadvantage of this is also you have to pay a little bit for it in terms of interest rate. You also have to walk into the credit union. You may also need to physically go to a credit union or belong to one in order to get something like that. The third thing is basically for anyone that wants to apply to this, you can, it's called a self-lending loan. This self-lending loan is basically an online platform. You don't have to leave the house in order to do it. You just go online, apply for it, and then you can get it. At first, I was as skeptical as anyone. I was very, very careful. I wanted to look at what kind of bank they use. I looked at their fine print. I read everything. Now, this video is sponsored by Self Lender. If you decide to go and use my affiliate link, I will benefit from it. Now, the first time I recommended Self Lender was about two years ago. Since then, a lot of people have come back in the comment section and reported to me what success they've had. Now, I'm gonna omit their names for privacy reasons, but I'm gonna show you the comments themselves. One of them says, make your way down to Texas. I'll treat you to some awesome barbecue it's on me your self lender advice has already increased my score over 60 points now the point increase you can expect varies it depends on how low a score you started with the lower it is the higher increase that you can expect. Another one says, check score went up 46 points 12 days after signing up. Hasn't even showed up on my credit report yet. Thanks for the advice. Now, that one is a little strange to me because in 12 days, I don't think they had time to go and report it to the credit bureau. So this might not be quite correct, I think. Another one goes, I'm not gonna read the whole thing here, but first payment in February and ever since then, my credit score went up 40 points. 
So there you go, more point increases. Yet another one goes, I'm so grateful for your knowledge. You have saved me $4,800 a year so far since I found you one month ago. You are so valuable. Thank you for blessing our family's finances. This actually doesn't have much to do with self lender. It has to do with my channel overall in terms of all the other financial advice I put in my videos. Another one goes, I also added a self lender account and added two more credit cards. I went from three cards to five. I did everything I learned in this video and my score went up 100 85 points in the last seven months. This is why I make these videos is because I feel like a lot of people just don't know how the system works. Just because some people don't know how it works, they end up with a really low credit score because they don't know how to push the buttons. As long as you do a few correct things like the tips I'm gonna show in this video, then you can easily get a higher credit score. The last one, and again, I'm not gonna read all of it. The boost in points I received from Self Lender has allowed me to qualify for unsecured options now. Now this is what you want. You want to boost your score enough so that you don't have to get the secured option credit cards. Once your credit score is good enough, you don't have to pay for these options anymore. You can ditch them and then you can improve your credit score the normal way. And then it goes on. Even my boyfriend who was very skeptical at first had to admit self lender delivered on their claims. People can be skeptical because it's this random website. It's not a big name brand bank or anything. And it goes, Oh, you're going to improve your score. There's a lot of places out there, a lot of websites saying, Oh yeah, you can improve your credit score, this or that way. So this is something that's tried and true. I showed you the comments. People have gotten good results from it. So let me go on with what it really is now. Now the self lender platform is sort of like a self lending loan. You're actually lending yourself money. You put money into self lender and at the end you get most of your money back minus some fees. Now why is this good for people trying to get good credit is because when you put money in, you cannot actually access that money. They hold that money for you as collateral just in case you default because after all you do have bad credit and most banks cannot trust you with the loan because you have a terrible credit score. Therefore, this is essentially a no risk thing for them because they're holding on to your money. If you default, they can just take that money. Although you can get back most of your principal minus the fees. So a self lending loan is not really lending you money at all. It's actually lending it to yourself. However, you cannot access that money. That's why they do not have to check your credit. You can have bad credit, no credit at all, bankruptcies or whatever. So this is why this is good for people with no credit. Over here, you see a diagram for self lender. What happens is as soon as you sign up, you have to pay a flat fee in order to start up this account. This is like an administrative fee. There are various plans that you can choose from, but the recommended plan that I choose is the lowest total amount. You pay self lender $48 a month for 12 months, which is a one year plan. What self lender does is take this money and hold it in an FDIC insured bank. And then at the end of 12 months, they give most of it back for you. Not all of it, which is $545. The total that you paid is $9 plus 48 times 12, which is $591. The total that you get back, like I said, is $545. The difference between these two is $46, which is the fee that you end up paying self lender. Now you might go, well, $46, that's a lot of money to pay in order to improve your credit score. It is non zero indeed, but it is also cheaper than you paying an annual fee for a secured credit card. Now I have a lot of people comment and say, Hey, can I just start up this account? And then maybe a month or two in, I just completely pay all of it and see if you can get a better credit score right away. The deal with this is no, you don't want to pay it off one or two months in. What you're trying to do is build a good credit history. So you want to drag this on as long as the whole term is, which is 12 months. This is so that on your credit report, it will show, oh yeah, you know, you are holding on to a loan. You're responsibly paying every single month. And then it's going to show that you paid on time over a 12 month period, which is very good for your credit score. Now, because I have a really high credit score already, I certainly don't need something like this myself. I'm not going to pay $46 just to get my score even higher. My credit score right now is 827 or so right now. So this is not useful for me and not useful for anyone with let's say 740, 760 and above credit score. But if you have a really low credit score, you're sort of in a pinch, you're kind of stuck and you don't have anything else that you can do other than get a secured credit card get a credit builder loan from a credit union or get this self lending loan because 
you don't qualify for an unsecured credit card, you don't qualify for a car loan, nor a mortgage. Now I wanna warn everyone that this is an actual loan here. This is not a play loan where you can just not pay and then it won't have consequences. Because Self Lender does report to all three credit bureaus, you can get bad credit from defaulting on this. If you started off with bad credit, it may show that you're not very good with repayment plans. So my recommendation is it's best to start off with a lump sum of money in your checking or savings account so that you know you have this amount already before starting this credit builder loan. If you're living paycheck to paycheck and you suddenly try to start this and then go, oh yeah, $48, I can meet that. Eight months later or 10 months later, you might find yourself strapped for cash, maybe you lost a job or something, and then all of a sudden you cannot pay this anymore. What you can do in that situation is you can go in there, cancel the loan before you default on this and you will not get a bad mark on your credit score. Let's say you're six months in, you're gonna get most of your money back minus the fees. Of course, you're not gonna get the $9 administrative fee back, but you're not gonna be charged a total of $46. It'll be something a bit less than this. Now, if you're late a full 80 days from the payment date, they will report to all three credit bureaus and you will default on this loan and it will be a bad mark on your credit report. Now, you might look at this and go, oh yeah, they improve credit. Maybe they're a credit repair company. No, Self Lender is not a credit repair company. Don't go and ask them about credit repair or anything. All they offer is these credit builder loans. Now, other than this $48 a month plan, they do have other loan terms and other loan amounts. For example, they have four options now. The first thing is a $9 fee, a $25 monthly plan, which is a bit lower. However, they extend it to 24 months instead. By the time you're done with all of this, you would have paid a total of $609. You would get $525 back. The total fee that they charge you is $84. Now you might go, well, which option is best here? The longer, the better, because then you're gonna have a longer history on your credit report and it'll show up as all fully paid and it would be a positive for your credit score. A lot of people ask, well, they have all these other options. They have more expensive monthly option. Will that actually help improve your credit score more just because you pay more into this loan? The answer to that is not very much at all. What's important here is that you have a loan at all and that you're in good standing with that loan. Just because you pay twice as much, let's say the $89 plan, does not mean your credit score will go up twice as much. I would say it would go up a tiny bit more. So my recommendation here is that you can get like 99% of the benefit just by getting the lowest amount loan. And in light of the lowest amount fee, I would just do the one year, the $15 fee, $48 a month, uh, for 12 months and the total fee would come out to be $46. If after that one year and you still feel like, oh yeah, you can benefit for another round of self-lending loan, go ahead and get that again because if you get the 24 month term, it means you're locked in. You have to go through with that whole thing and the total fee will be more expensive. Now at the end of this loan term, the self lender thing is not gonna repeat this for you. After you pay all of it in, you can't go, okay, you know, it's gonna automatically restart. They're gonna boot you out of this whole payment plan thing and then you're gonna get your money back. If you wanna start up this thing again, you need to reapply uh, for another term. What I recommend to do is of course to do just the one year plan, just wait and see. You might be very surprised how high your credit score becomes after doing just one year based on all those other comments I reviewed before. After you're done with all this, I recommend to take this money and stick it in an online account and just save all this. Don't go, oh, free money, I'm gonna blow it off on everything. Take this and put it in a savings account. You can get a pretty high interest rate by not going to your typical banks and just use online savings bank accounts. These include banks like Marcus, Synchrony, or Discover Online. Now from Marcus, you can get like 1.6% APY right now. Now being a frugal channel where I normally don't recommend people to buy anything or spend money on any kind of fees, this is something that you may need to do if you're stuck at the bottom of your credit score. You can most certainly do it the normal way, the way I did it, which is very, very slowly, just use your credit very very responsibly, always pay um, any kind of bills in full. But you know what, this took me an incredible amount of time, like 10 years or so, in order to get it this high. If you don't have the time to wait around, well, you need to pay a little bit more for faster service, of course, in order to get it higher. You want to sort of inject good history in your credit report, so in order to do that, you have to pay a small fee. Now on top of all this, if you look at this $48 and you can barely make this, I would recommend to not do it at all. It needs to be very, very comfortable in order to make this amount. And like I said, I would prefer that you have, let's say $600 or more on top of your emergency fund. It's just sitting there on the side for you to contribute to this self-lending account.
Now, after all this, if you're still interested in this self-lending account, I do have the referral link down below and I would very, very appreciate it if you guys use it. By using this link, I will benefit from it. You will be helping out this channel and at the same time, you will be helping out your own credit score. So thanks for watching everybody. I have my referral link down in the video description below. I have a Patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.